so I would like to present Peter Ballantyne, who's a specialist about drugs since how many years? Since 1969. And we collaborate to make that room together in that beautiful space, which is the Punta de la Dogana, but with a lot of uh, specific uh, uh, requests mm -hmm. regarding and conditions yeah. regarding yeah. the walls. Yeah. But maybe you can say a few words about Judd. Um, I started working for Judd in 1969, and I was a fabricator for him, but and worked for him until he died in 1994. And since then, I've been a restorer of Judd and a curator sometimes, and a co-curator in this <laughs> ca in this case, or an assistant curator, and. Um, I, it's my specialty, and I think this collaboration, if, if we can call it a collaboration, worked really well. We changed the show slightly because of the wall. The wall. Do you want to talk about that? Or? We started from the work from the collection uh, from the 60s, which the iron glaze uh, wants. And I wanted at the beginning to have the progression on that wall, which was nearly impossible because Two progressions even. Right? Yeah. yeah because it's not uh, strictly uh, right. Mm -hmm. It's not straight, and so and those progressions are very inflexible about. Um, so we moved uh, that to borrow some work, uh, wood works, mm -hmm. and to make, a, to make a discussion in between the, um, uh, the iron works, the, the wood part, and the architecture mm -hmm. of that space. Yeah, and I think it works uh, really well, if, you if it's okay to say that, because um, we, we could use, it's nice to have that extra color, the color of the wood. We even have one of the units, this, this unit back here, that's got the color of the wood plus color, plus a back, painted back. So, um, and you don't see yet Flavin. It's going to be a correspondence there between Judd and Flavin. Although I, I'm, so, I'm used to thinking of, of doing Judd shows, one man Judd shows, this is an this is a not interesting challenge for me because it, this is slightly a group show, not re, not uh, really not this I mean this room is slightly a group show. Well, we wanted um, uh, for the first room of that show to also have contemporary works, which is I mean today's mm -hmm, work, which is yeah. uh, discussion, and this is the sum of the meaning of the collection. But be, maybe going back to Jenna, you might say a few words about the stack. Uh, some of the principles of Judd? Um, without going into a really long discussion of it, Judd's um, breakthrough or his mission was to find a way of composing without composing. Um, and one of the ways of doing that was repetition, such as the, the piece that we're standing in front of here, or the stack, where you, instead of um, a single, in, the, in his first true hardcore objects, they were, it would be a single box on the wall. And when it became necessary to do something more elaborate than that, what do you do? Repetition was one of the uh, solutions. Progressions, this piece on this wall over here is another one where you, you, you take a found number system that in itself has no meaning. This is this is a, a an additive number system, but he also used Fibonacci series, mm -hmm. 1560 number series that a lot of artists have used. But for him, there's no mystical meaning to that. It's just a number system that already exists that he can use. Um, this piece is also a series. Uh, these plywood pieces are not series quite so much, but we could talk about, if we want to, if we have time, we can talk about that. That's, that's, a, these pieces are based on a very basic American measurement system of halves, quarters, eighths, of basically a folding measurement system. These pieces um, are, the, the plywood pieces over here are quarter, the, the ones that we're seeing, this four part piece here, would, if, if you consider the space to be as real a part of the piece as the wooden, hard wooden pieces are. This piece here would be a quarter, three quarters, half, a 
quarter, a quarter, a half, 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 quarter, quarter, half, three quarters, quarters. And Judd did consider the space to be fully part of the piece in, the, in a stack like this, which is 10 units. It's actually, as far as he was concerned, this is not a 10 unit piece, this is a 19 unit piece. And you notice the empty, uh, that spaces, the, the empty spaces are exactly the same size as the hard spaces or the contained spaces. And it's fairly apparent when you go close to these pieces that they're made out of sheet metal, quite thin sheet metal, and so that actually what's, it's not a hard, solid, cast bronze thing. It's a light, hollow, sealed space. And so this, the amount of square inches or square centimeters inside one of those units is exactly the same as the, spa the implied space of the, spa of the space. In the same way as you can measure the amount of water in an empty bathtub or an empty swimming pool. It's a little complicated to put it that way, but, but, no, it's, but it's, it's so one of his, system, his systems, and his system is all about finding a way to make art slightly compl more complicated than just single boxes that are not composed. There's also a kind of purity with those mathematics rules. Yeah, yeah and, it's, and it's older than he is, much older than he is, which, is, which feels very, to Judd coming when he does, right after abstract expressionism with all its um, drama and um, melodrama and personal um, personality-driven art. It feels much, Judd coming in the early 60s, it feels like a much more authentic way of making art than the self on the canvas. Uh, uh, to put and, it in, uh, yeah, so it's a position which is with a, uh, in a way not um, kind of beauty defined by its own rules, in a way. And old rules. I mean, and really, old really rules. old rules. This, this folding measurement system of, the, of, of these plywood pieces are, it's an, that's an American measurement system. It's not really a, met, a it's not a European metric system, though the outsides oh. of the boxes are metric, yeah. interestingly, <laughs> interestingly enough. And there's a slight, this is a, this is a little extreme to make this statement, but there's a slight tendency in Judd, especially on open boxes like this, for the inside of the piece to be where the action is. Yeah. On, is there, which looks quite plain, plain from the end, but inside is where everything's happening, and this is the same as case on this plywood piece. Um, it's also a proposal in that the group show to start by a very minimal attitude and to speak to have a kind of aesthetic which is very different than the... Than the rest of the show, most of the rest of the show. No, but uh, it's 60s, not, not from the rest of the show, but uh, something very minimal to challenge the space. Mm -hmm. And uh, for me, it's a surprise that it works that well. It's a, it, it works really well. And yeah. it, I, it's even, I think it's such a strong show that even the addition of other pieces, non jud pieces, on this wall or on this back wall doesn't disturb the show. Because usually, ju usually a judge show is only a judge show, and here we have other, other works, and it's still a, a wonderful judge show, I think. And, um, and I think it's a good way to start the show, also. It has a lot of authority, this, this space. Um, 